Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic. So a few firms like Cisco, Gemalto, Foxconn are putting the blockchain into their IoT to secure it and get it done for later on. So if you don't know what IoT means, it is the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things is something with physical devices, vehicles, smartphones, buildings, whatever is connected to the Internet. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you have a printer at home and you have your smartphone with you. You see a nice picture on Facebook and you want to print it out. You just send it to your printer and your printer will print it out because it's connected to the Internet and it has no interference with your body, but just with your phone and everything is automated. Also, I can give another example on someone that has a fridge and it sees like, hey, I'm out of butter today. I'm going to order a new one and it will just automatically deliver a new piece of butter into your fridge. But it's not going to be in your fridge, but there's going to be a postal guy that will send it to your house and come deliver the butter. But you didn't go ahead and go to the shop and get your butter yourself, but everything is automated. So that is the basic thing of Internet of Things. But if you still don't know what I mean, I will just put a link in the description below on Wikipedia on what it means. So let's move on to what we're talking about. So the Internet of Things is very common at the moment. So it's going to be more common in the future as well, like 2030. Everything will be automated. No human interference, interference on everything you do. So there's many little startups as well that want to involve with this blockchain like and be safe, scoo chain and consensus to try and help to develop this protocol for the territorium of the blockchain. So the Internet of Things is very insecure because hackers can just get data from everywhere like, oh, there's another email leak and they got one million passwords and emails. You can hear that really often and it's, it's getting more common that cyber criminals are trying to hack everything the heck out of it to share it or gain money out of it so they want to secure this and they want to make a blockchain work with this but mostly the bank section is already using blockchains especially putin is is putting a lot of effort into it in russia to go ahead and put all his banks on the blockchain but it's so difficult to do this so they're going to invest millions of monies into this to get it safe so they can just make IoT applications or try to secure everything from the common day until they get it into the blockchain. Of course, I'm not sure how they're gonna do this because they just are taking the concept of the blockchain and they just put it into their specific item. So it's not, I'm not talking about a specific coin like Ethereum or Bitcoin, but for some reason they are just go ahead and take their own blockchain ID and just put it in, into their own bank. They, they don't really look at the blockchain like a coin, but they just make it themselves. So I'm not really sure how this is all working out, but I'm pretty scared about how the future is looking without a blockchain. It's just gonna feel like it's, you need to have to have the blockchain around just to make the industry work and our community work because it's gonna get so insecure because there's so many devices over people it's like i own like six phones in total from my whole life but they still all work and we own like six computers at home or let's say 20 miners so there's so much technology compared to people and that worries a little bit of the high people i guess and they just want to make it as safe as possible for future cyber attacks so nobody is listening to you through your phone and do insecure stuff and steal your privacy. So hopefully you have just gotten a little bit more of information on the future of blockchains with this video and if you think something is off here or you have any idea that is pretty similar to what I just showed you, just post it in the comments below. It's really helpful for everyone to just talk about it and so I can make some future videos about it if you're interested to this stuff. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one.